Hello everyone. In my previous video, I showed you uh, this uh, soldering station that I made based on uh, Arduino Nano. Uh, as you can see, it's quite big, and uh, one of the viewers uh, suggested, actually asked me if I can uh, make it more compact, and also one of the viewers. Um, suggested to where to modify in the code uh, to adjust the display because uh, right now as you can see it's uh, a bit uh, on the left and uh, I correct that and of course I correct the rotary encoder uh, direction because on this station it's uh, backwards uh, let's say if I want to increase the the heat, I need to rotate it to the left, which it's a bit awkward. So I correct uh, this one as well. Now back to the to this uh, last uh, version that I made. Uh, as you can see, quite small and uh, portable of course you can uh, power it up from uh, external uh, power supply like uh, laptop chargers uh, batteries or of course uh, you can power it up from a, a lab uh, power supply this is uh, smallest that it can be done with uh, through hole uh, components and uh, single uh, side PCB board and of course uh, using the Arduino Nano with uh, SMD components you can uh, make it even smaller but uh, I don't have uh, SMD components so I keep it simple because uh, we are using uh, the Arduino Nano which is easier to upload the code on it you don't need the uh, adapter uh, to upload the code so I will uh, open it up and see the arrangement of the components and uh, how it uh, it's connected the uh, main board with the top board which contains the OLED display, rotary encoder and uh, aviator connector let's take it apart and slowly I don't want to break anything this is the top board here I played a little bit with the marker and uh, here's the pins that connects the OLED display, the aviator uh, uh, connector, and the rotary encoder. And this is the main board. Here is the voltage regulator, the MOSFET, the power MOSFET, IRF-Z44N, the buzzer, here is the connector which uh, connects with the top uh, top side and of course Arduino Nano under it are some uh, 
components, resistor, capacitors, and this is the an MPN transistor. So I used a lot of uh, jumpers because uh, it's a single-sided uh, PCB board and uh, I wanted to keep it uh, simple and easier to, to make with the uh, double-sided PCB board it's a bit uh, harder to make but in this way it's a lot simple so yeah this is the, the soldering station the last version of it uh, let's put it together i'm planning to to make with uh, the same uh, using the same uh, schematic and uh, uh, software to make uh, a soldering iron like uh, TS100 uh, I will see you when uh, I will have the time to to finish it because I am working right now on the software I have to change uh, in the software I have to change the the fonts, all the fonts, because uh, it helps to fit in the 0 0.91 inches display. And I have to change as well the the code in order to use uh, the buttons instead of the rotary encoder. So I will see when I will finish it. I will post. Of course, a video with everything, uh, schematics, PCB, and of course I will not use the Arduino Nano, and I will use um, the Atmega uh, microcontroller, because uh, it uh, needs to be quite small. Anyway, I put together the soldering station, let's power it up, I will connect the, the power cable, let's, uh, okay, now you see an error on the screen because I don't have connected the the handle I will connect the handle Oops. and first time when you connect the handle you have to choose the tip let's say if you saved uh, multiple uh, tips you select the tip that uh, you currently using uh, right now it's a direct uh, control mode I'm not sure if you can do here it's uh, making a clicking noise on the handle and if I change the control mode oops if I change the control mode in a PID control The noise changes. 
this is in the PID control. It uh, takes a little bit to temperature to stabilize and uh, then the, the temperature readings on the display will be stable. So yeah, as you can see I corrected the display, it's not more uh, on the left, it's uh, perfectly centered and of course the rotary encoder direction which is normal, to the left we decrease the temperature and uh, when we rotate to the right we increase the temperature. It's quite small, it's uh, 7 cm by uh, 5 and let's say here 1.3 uh, to 1.5 uh, cm in height. So yeah, it's quite small and portable. Let's uh, melt some soldering, solder, excuse me. Yeah, I, uh, I really like how it uh, came out. And uh, again, thanks to Steven Wagner who wrote the code and uh, made the schematic. Thanks to him I was able to, to make these uh, uh, soldering stations. I will uh, put a link down below to his uh, channel and uh, uh, Easy EDA site. And he has there uh, a lot of interesting things. Okay, uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, I hope you like this video. If you like it, give me a like, share and of course if you want you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks and bye bye, I will see you in the next video. Bye.